Hi, my name is Jim Farrell and I'm a business analyst at QuestionMark. This is our first video on how to use QuestionMark Live. QuestionMark Live is QuestionMark's question authoring tool for subject matter experts. It gives QuestionMark customers the ability to write questions and submit them to someone who is using Perception Authoring Manager. QuestionMark Live was developed to be easy to use. Just how easy to use, you ask? We're here to make a question. Right now, you're looking at the question, multiple choice question editor. The first thing we need to do is to create our question or stimulus. For this example, let's find out if people know what the capital of France is. And as is often the case when I'm typing, I have to check to see if I've spelt any words incorrect. So I'm going to click on spell check, and it has found that I've spelt the word capital wrong. So I'm going to click on the correct spelling, change it, click OK, and it has changed it for me. Now that we have everything spelled correctly, I want to add a visual cue for this example. So I'm going to click on the Add Image button, browse to the image on my desktop, open it, and upload it to my question. Any image that I upload will be exported later when I package this and send it to someone with perception. So we have a question, we have an image, now we're ready for our choices. So for the first choice, I'm going to type Berlin, and when I'm finished typing, I'm just going to tab to my next choice, and I'll keep tabbing to finish with my third choice, which I'll type New York. Once I'm done, I can select Paris, the radio button, and that'll add one point to my answer. We're now ready to leave feedback. By clicking the Show Feedback button, I can leave individual feedback for each of my choices. To me, this is probably one of the most powerful features within Question Mark Live. It allows subject matter experts to give detailed feedback on each of the choices. It also allows them to link to supplemental material if necessary. They can add links and images just as they can in the question stimulus. Now that we're almost done leaving our feedback, it's time to save our question. We're going to scroll to the top of the screen, click the Save button, and be returned to our list of questions. That's how easy it is to create a question in Question Mark Live.